engineering team has evaluated um, the vehicle is not uh, in a configuration where we can proceed with uh, flight today. Breaking right now at 11, Boeing's first shot at blasting astronauts into outer space on the Starliner scrubbed about two hours before liftoff. Tonight, there's no plan yet for the next launch attempt of that Starliner. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. The two astronauts taking a test flight in the capsule had just been secured in their seats when the mission was called off. Engineers say the Atlas V Centaur rocket, not the capsule, is to blame. As we take a live look at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, earlier in the night, engineers expressed concern about a noise coming from a part of the rocket in a press conference that just wrapped up. NASA elaborated more about what caused it. Things were going well uh, when the team noticed uh, uh, on the Centaur there's a valve, uh, a LOX valve that, that regulates the pressure and the Centaur upper stage. And so the pressure is very important for a couple reasons. Uh, one, you need the pressures right in both the LOX and the liquid hydrogen tank uh, to provide propellants to the RL-10 engines that will uh, fly in the second stage and take the crew into orbit, and also for structural capability of the tank. And so uh, we saw the self-regulating valve on the lock side uh, had a bit of a buzz, and so it was, it was moving in a, a strange behavior. Uh, the flight rules had been laid out uh, for this flight ahead of time with the crew at the launch pad. Uh, the proper action was to take the scrub. All right, let's get you out to New Six Space expert Eric Von Aken. He's live tonight with more on what is next for Boeing, its Starliner, and the astronauts. Eric? Ginger, this comes down to calculated risk. So the example from the ULA CEO was think of your water heater, right? It has a pressure relief valve built in in case the pressure builds up too much in that water tank and that relief valve opens and lets out the pressure. Well, they have that same thing on the Atlas V behind me, except if a satellite were on board, all they would do is cycle this valve once it started doing that fluttering that they didn't like. Well, their flight rules prohibit them from doing that cycling of a valve, from really doing anything with the rocket when you got a fully fueled rocket on board and people on top, so they didn't. But you just heard from the launch team that we are scrubbing. The scrutiny was on the Starliner built by Boeing, not on a rocket that would have flown for the 100th time. The Atlas V is an industry workhorse launching satellites and secret payloads for decades with 100% success. But this time, with lives on the line for the first time, the Atlas V wasn't ready. The ULA folks and the launch team, they decided to, out of an abundance of caution, to stand down because they saw um, something off nominal uh, with an oxygen relief valve on Centaur. So NASA explained they were hearing an odd sort of chattering on the liquid oxygen relief valve while filling up the LOX tank. Problematic enough to stop the countdown and check it out. You see Butch is now out of Starliner, back into the white room. NASA and the astronauts, Butch and Sonny, undid almost everything they'd done just hours earlier, climbing out of the capsule, riding Astrovan 2 back to crew quarters, and then peeling off their spacesuits until the next attempt. Now, here's the kicker. Once they got those two astronauts off Starliner and safely away from the launch pad, they did go ahead and recycle that pressure relief valve. And guess what? The fluttering stopped, so they could have launched. So what they're going to do tonight is take a hard look at the valve. They're going to see if it needs to be replaced. That would take several days. If they don't need to replace it and they feel confident that the valve is going to work, they will go ahead and try again for tomorrow night. Next launched attempt is 10-11 tomorrow night. We expect to get word in the morning as to what they're going to do. As soon as we find out, we'll let you know. But for now, live at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6. Certainly a disappointing night for a lot of people, but glad that they are, uh, are doing this out of abundance of caution. Yeah, they're not going to yeah. take any chances, Absolutely. Eric. Thank you. News 6 was at Spaceview Park tonight. Some people showed up for more than five hours mm -hmm. before liftoff to get a good seat. Unfortunately, they left disappointed. News 6's <laughs> Treasure Roberts was there as space fans learned tonight's big launch was scrubbed. 
Yeah, pretty disappointing night for all of the excited people who wanted to see that rocket go up. You can see people leaving Space View Park right now. We talked to people who came from across the country earlier and were so excited. They brought their snacks, their chairs, uh, their video cameras. They wanted to get the perfect shot. We even talked to two people who are huge space fans. They said they came all the way from Argentina. We are going back in the couple of next days, so we are going to not be able yeah. to see it. So How disappointed are you all? Oh, yeah. Not a lot, but we are going to try again we, for we sure. Knew, we knew that something that this type of things happens, that, that, so yeah, it's okay. Many people are wondering when's the next time they can see the Starliner launch. We haven't found out yet, but when we do learn about that next launch window, we'll post it on clickorlando.com. Treasure Roberts getting results, New 6. Thank you, Treasure. Stay up to date with all things space by subscribing to our Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. It goes out every Monday morning. Subscribe right now by going to clickorlando.com newsletters.